Today is a great day. Today is 4th of July, the day of uh, independence of American people. Uh, 244 years ago, in 1776, America declared its independence from Britain. And since that time, they are always proclaiming liberty, democracy, and uh, freedom. So uh, we are really glad to congratulate you with uh, this great uh, uh, day and to wish to all uh, our members, members of American Chamber of Commerce, a happy 4th of July. To congratulate also all the Americans that are in Moldova and uh, all the Americans uh, around the world. We, as American Chamber of Commerce, uh, we are very happy every year to celebrate this uh, day. And uh, unfortunately, this year we are not able to make such a nice event as usually with networking, with a lot of fun, with meeting friends. Because of the pandemic the, the two we faced, all of us, this year, we decided nevertheless to prepare for you a surprise and um, our idea was to come with a cooking class and we will prepare some real american dishes today at this cooking class for the fourth of july the dishes that are mainly uh, prepared and eaten by americans in this great day so as a guest uh, today, we'll have uh, John Maximchuk, an American which lives already for 17 years in Moldova and uh, the one that contributed probably the most to the foundation of American Chamber, to the development of American Chamber because he served also uh, as a president for more than six years and he really invested a lot of his efforts for the development of AmCham and for becoming the AmCham that we know today. So John on the top is one of my friends and uh, we know each other from for a lot of time, probably for 17 years. So I'd like to ask John to join us. Hi Carmina. Thank you for such a nice introduction. And uh, yeah, 17 years already in Moldova. I even don't feel like I am qualified already to be presenting American traditions. I should be, I should be presenting Moldov Moldovan traditions. I wanted to ask you, how do you feel more? American or Moldovan? <laughs> okay, next time you'll present Moldovan tradition with Placinta and Sarmale, Mamaliga. <laughs> Well, for sure, Moldova is my home, and uh, I feel very good here. So what I really like are some of the similarities in our traditions. Uh, one of the big ones is, of course, a love of food, and specifically a love of barbecue. So this, oh. is, a, this is a Fourth of July tradition. We're not getting fancy today. We're going to do very traditional American Hamburger and pasta salad, two things that are very, very common on 4th of July. And uh, yeah, there's something I think most Moldovans could appreciate uh, because they share the same love of barbecue. Hardly to, to find someone who doesn't like uh, hamburgers and uh, I'm sure the salad will be also delicious. Yeah. Okay, so I would propose let's start with the, the pasta salad. So this is a cold dish. It's uh, typical okay. of summer in the U.S. It would normally be either a pasta salad or a potato salad. Uh, the nice thing about these is they're sort of cold and refreshing. Uh, they also have the advantage that you prepare them one day in advance and you put them okay. in the refrigerator and they taste even better but all your preparation is done before your guests come. So I started with uh, 500 grams, which might be a little bit much, 500 grams of rotini, but you can use penne or anything. Yeah, you know. I have penne. Penne? Yeah, I think penne yes. could even be better. So on top of this, we put a little bit of olive oil. 
just to keep it from sticking. I know, but well, you definitely need to, to have a, to prepare a big salad, yes? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, the, the family keeps getting bigger and bigger. Every That's time very we, nice. Every time we check out at Metro, they ask us if this is a, if this is a physical or juridical person. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in this pasta salad, we have sun-dried tomatoes. I usually slice them nice and thin. You know, I have prepared also the sun-dried tomatoes that are made by, by us, by, uh, you know, by our company, since we're yeah. doing uh, different dried stuff. So this is uh, uh, tomatoes dried by Monicole, and I prepare them specially uh, uh, for using just adding some uh, olive oil, a lot of spices, and some garlic. Uh, John, and since we are the, on the 1st of, 1st of July, please uh, tell us how do you usually celebrate this great day? What uh, activities do you have? Okay, well, let's say I will answer this in terms of when I was in the U.S. and how Americans would. Uh, normally it would be a, a backyard barbecue. So after we're finished in the kitchen with preparation, we'll go upstairs and uh, we'll, go to, we'll go outside to the barbecue. But you will invite neighbors, family. Okay. Uh, there can be typical backyard activities. When I was younger, this could be anything from playing horseshoes or backyard wiffle ball if someone has a pool, a swimming pool. Of course, all the kids would be in the swimming pool. Oh, yeah. This is July, definitely. Summer, yeah, summer holiday. Um, usually, the, in the evening, there's almost always fireworks. And this, I think, is, this, I think, is the, the quintessential tradition of 4th of July is the, fi the big firework display uh, in the evening. When I was young, when I was young, our town would organize it and everybody would drive out the fire department who are uh, the responsible ones would set off the fireworks, but we would all set up our beach chairs and lawn chairs and sit outside and in the night air with lightning bugs flashing all around and our town would put on a firework display. Oh, very nice. So really good memories. So next, one red onion. in which I slice them in thirds, but I'm going to cut these just in half. Next is one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Which okay, I, I also have. I've already grated mine. Did you grate yours? Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is not a, might not be a logical connection with, uh, with a pasta salad, but the, the Parmesan cheese has a, a very tangy zing to the pasta salad together with the with the olive oil and the, the yeah. olive oil. It really adds a nice, a nice combination. And Absolutely. If it's already a, a Parmesan cheese, it should be very tasty, I'm sure. Yeah. 
So those are the main ingredients. The rest is just some seasonings. Of course, uh, in, in my family I grew up, I'm, uh, I'm a mix, of course. I am, uh, Maximchuk is a Ukrainian name, but um, my family is half Italian. So we grew up at oh. uh, the, the start of almost every meal in our house starts with basil, oregano, and garlic and olive oil. Oh. So yeah. Just about everything. So a little bit of oregano in here, a little bit of basil. But what do you think uh, about putting some fresh basil, uh, John? Despite health recommendations, I still like to put salt in some of my food and pasta salad. And I just dig in with my hands to mix it. Oh, okay. I will do this in this food. And uh, what about uh, your current family already big as we said uh, do you now celebrate do you have some traditions that to, to celebrate fourth uh, of july in your family uh, i usually i usually use the opportunity just to invite my uh, my extended family so as okay. you as you understand after 17 years i i have i have my nanash i have my finn i have kumetru so i am oh. I, I usually so. use it as an opportunity for inviting for inviting uh, my my Moldovan family over and doing okay. a traditional American barbecue. Uh, plus, my seven year old daughter's birthday is on July third. Oh, so and we, I have to say uh, that my daughter is also born on fourth of July. So uh, today is oh, that's great. Her, yes. <laughs> That's how it looks. Okay. Uh, John, you know what I would suggest? Because usually I like to add in such kind of salads, also walnuts. Just uh, cut it all nuts. And I'm sure it will be crunchy and good. Very good idea. Uh, is I will add also with the, with the sun-dried tomatoes, I can slice up some fresh tomatoes as well. Shall we try? Yes. Mm. It's all good. Very good. And okay, next. Let's move on to hamburgers. Yes. Okay. So you start with your ground meat, uh, room temperature. Okay. I have about half a kilo here. Uh, I also have, I bought, uh, mm -hmm. this is minced meat. Uh, I tend to make my own blends. In this case, I would do about one third pork, one third uh, beef, and you can do one third veal if you have it and really feel a difference. You can actually put a splash of olive oil in it or other kind of oil and it will actually give you a little bit of moisture to your to your meat i will try i never did this but i will try okay and now we get a little bit of some controversial questions some some people will put a little bit of egg they'll beat an egg and they'll mix the egg in and then you have to put a little bit of breadcrumb in there to keep okay. it from too, too mushy other people will tell you that's not a hamburger anymore. Now it's a meatball. So oh uh, yes, usually we are doing this is meatball. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do not put egg. I do 
uh, just ground beef. I do season it. I put a little bit of oregano. I do a little bit of basil. A little bit of chopped up fresh garlic. How do you mix the, the meat with uh, with a spoon or, or with your hands? With my hands. Okay, so I'll do the same. There's another kind of cooking argument is when do you add salt? The salt and pepper. Okay. Uh, some people will, sit, will add it now into the meat as you as you mix it. I actually make the patties and then I put the salt and pepper on the surface. So it, it doesn't dry out the meat as much. Oh, I see. Stay a little bit juicier. John, tell me what were your first impressions when you came to Moldova 17 years ago? Uh, my first impression was, uh, it wasn't anything of what I expected. When I got here, I came in from the airport. I drove into Chisinau, uh, entered the city. My first evening, uh, my employers, we sat outside at uh, the beer house on the Gruzzi. Oh. And, and uh, I sat there on the Gruzzi, the end of Stefan Chamari, and watched a very modern, more modern than I was expecting to see. Very, very positive, very nice, uh, very nice atmosphere, good food. Of course, good wine, friendly people. You was not shocked what you've seen? I was not shocked. I was uh, very pleasantly surprised. Okay. So I separate my hamburgers, this meat into three. When I'm doing a barbecue on the, on the guitar, uh, the heat can be very high. I tend to make a larger, thicker burger to keep the, uh, to keep the center juicy. Uh, if I make smaller, thinner burgers, they can uh, cook. I see. They cook all the way through, they can become well done. So I'll do three burgers out of this instead of two. You don't want to handle them too much. You kind of keep them not, you don't want to make a mash out of it. You want to have them hold together, but not be too, you don't want them to fall apart, but you also don't want to work them too much or they'll become kind of dry. And you make your patty and you put a little bit of a dimple in the middle with your thumb. Okay. Cooks and starts to swell up. That actually keeps it from becoming a, again, a meatball. It keeps it from becoming round. And now we have three patties. They're not that hard and uh, with some of the right twists, you actually they come out very nice every time. So you'll be a you'll be a hit next time you want to do hamburgers. For doing a basic cheeseburger, I have cheddar slices, but you can do blue cheese or. I have also cheddar slices. We're gonna do we're gonna do just uh, lettuce, pickles. Uh, we're gonna grill some onion and cheddar cheese. Tomato slices. I have a nice medium sized fresh Moldova tomato.
So not a lot of people know, but the, you were possibly my first friend in Moldova outside of, outside of work. You remember our yeah, first, first meeting? Can you remember way back when you were with Ernst & Young? Yes, we met at New York restaurant. In New York restaurant remember? for lunch yes. to discuss business development, yeah? Yes, yes. Probably, I got here on May 27th in 2003. And that was, for sure, it was in the first half of June, that meeting. Okay, so we are getting close. We have our salad, we have our patties, we have our cheese. My cheese is uh, already sliced. Our tomato, my lettuce is already washed and broken. I got iceberg lettuce, which yeah. is kind of, uh, I don't know, something sentimental from the U.S. All right, so we need to prepare our hamburger rolls and our sauce. Ready? Yes. Okay. The next is a sauce. So okay. I uh, plain ketchup. I actually do a mix of mayonnaise and ketchup. I'm a little bit nervous. Our friend David, who is a professional at barbecue, is probably watching us. And I'm wondering, uh, he's sitting, sitting there being like, oh, no, John, no. <laughs> no, this is not the real barbecue. <laughs> Okay. But certainly not least is our hamburger roll. I always grill my hamburger rolls so they're a little bit toasted on the grill. But okay. I'm going to do a little bit of garlic butter to, to flavor it up. cooking the breakfast in your family? Uh, let's see. Usually me. I'm a okay. very early riser. Okay. I'm, I'm usually up very early and I'm up when the little ones come downstairs. I see. So this, is very... part of, this is part of my tradition and um, my time with them. But unfortunately, they're not so interested in a cooked breakfast as much as they are in Nutella. With oh, I see. <laughs> okay, ready. You're ready to head out to the barbecue. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we get started then. Yes, we we can start. Sure. A Fourth of July tr tradition is you should drink a beer while you're barbecuing. Uh, to stay with a nice Moldovan wine too. Norok. For 4th of July, Norok. Norok. She Multan, Multan and Pereona. Multan. I like my burgers medium rare, which means uh, pink but not red in the middle. Take your finger, your thumb, and you touch your, your index finger, your thumb. You press there. And you feel like the this part of your your hand, that is rare. And if you touch oh, your finger yes. and you feel this, uh -huh. that's well done. Oh, very good tip. Yeah. So mine are, mine are still kind of rare in the middle. I think mine need a little bit more cooking. So you want your cheese to melt over your oh. burger. I'm gonna put my my buns on the grill. John, do you have uh, your Labrador with you cooking? The Labrador would steal a hamburger off the grill. <laughs> <laughs> the 
burgers are almost ready. Our rolls should be ready, nice and toasted. And we start to assemble now. First is our mayo sauce that we did. One of the drawbacks is that I make burgers that are tend to be too big to fit in your mouth. So I usually have to cut them in half. So look at mine. They are really nice. This is more of a medium, more than medium rare, but still a little bit pink in the middle. Okay, I will cut it also to see how it looks like inside. Thirty-five degrees and standing next to a hot guitar, I will have another sip of beer. Oh there we go. Here we are. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs>